When we were growing up, we had this neighbor and she had become a close family friend, but every single time you went to her house, it was perfectly neat and tidy. I mean, it didn't matter when you stopped over, what was going on in her world, her house was always picked up and orderly. And she'd greet you at the door and she'd say, come on in, it's so good to see you. And you genuinely believed that and that she was not scrambling when she saw you driving up the driveway to get stuff put away in order for you to come into her home. It was just always picked up and ready to go. And I think our perception then growing up was that there are some people that can pull that off and it's their wiring, it's their gifting, it's, you know, there's something special about them. And then there's the rest of us and we'll never be that. And it is what it is, but yeah, we try, right? For those of us who aren't naturally tidy people, we try, we watch the videos, we read the articles, we see the things on Pinterest, we click on it, we download the printables, you know, like we, we sincerely, I think everybody wants to be that person. I might be wrong, not maybe to the full extent, but I think all of us really genuinely do want that if someone came over unannounced, that we could welcome them in and that it wouldn't be a big deal and we wouldn't be embarrassed. And so today I want to talk about the real secret of tidy people because we hear a lot of different things about how to be a tidy person, but I think they're missing the mark and that might be why you haven't succeeded at being tidy. I think we can go back even a layer deeper to what makes tidy people tidy and I think it could change everything. Well, hi, I'm Dawn from The Minimal Mom. If we haven't met before, I'm married to Tom and we have four kids ages seven through 12. And we became minimalist about seven or eight years ago. And in the beginning, part of my motivation was this, that somebody could stop by unannounced, come in and I would not be horrified because my house wasn't trashed, right? That my house would be picked up. It, it doesn't have to be perfect all the time, but like if we saw someone driving up, we could straighten up really quickly. And I like how the fly lady says it. She often says being 15 minutes from company ready, that at any given point, we could tidy up real quick and we could welcome people into our home. And I still really like that idea. What I didn't realize though, is that while that is a great byproduct of simplifying our home, the best benefits were actually experienced by our family and getting to live in a peaceful home and having a home that is much easier for me to stay on top of and keep picked up and to not always feel so behind and overwhelmed by my home. So while it's great that company can stop in and, and I'm not horrified that our house is trashed, the real benefits are experienced by us every single day. And that has been the best byproduct or benefit of highly simplifying our home to the point that we call ourselves minimalists. Now, you don't have to go that far and you can stop whenever you feel comfortable. Our tips and our the help we give for decluttering works for everybody, no matter how far you wanna go. But I do think that all of us would like to be tidy. And Marie Kondo says it well. I mean, she named her book, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up because living in a tidy space is life-changing. We feel better. We're not as stressed out when the space around us is picked up and tidy. Doesn't have to be perfectly clean, but when it's tidy. So many of us strive to be a tidier version of ourselves. And even for myself, for many years, I was like, how do I become a tidy person? It seemed like it warred against everything that was hardwired into me to be kind of messy, kind of, I like to think of it more as like creative type, right? So how do I become a tidy person? And so I want to talk real quick about what we normally hear uh, makes a tidy person or how they stay on top. But I want to then take it a layer deeper because I think there's actually a motivation behind it. And if we can get to that, it makes the habits of a tidy person much more easier. So I think anytime we watch videos or read articles or see something on Pinterest about how to be a tidy person, you normally hear things like only handle things once. So if I bring something into the home, I put it away right away. Everything has a place and everything in its place. So in my home, every single item has a place where it can be put away. Let's see, what other habits of tidy people? Um, when you use something, you put it away right away. Anytime you're cooking or you make some kind of mess, you're picking up as you go. Uh, when you're making dinner at night, you run a sink of dishwater and then you put the dishes right into it and wash them as you go. Run the dishwasher every night. Uh, I'm trying to think like what other thing. These are all really good things. These make sense, they're really good habits. But I think if we go a little deeper of what is really hardwired into tidy people is that I think they understand that they can't keep so much inventory, that having a lot of inventory goes directly against being a tidy person. Because most of these habits, like having a space for everything and everything in its place, being able to put stuff away as you use it, that requires that the space where you're putting this stuff 
is not overly cluttered, right? We can't have clutter and be tidy. And so I think this is a huge difference in naturally tidy people is that they can get rid of clutter more easily. They're not as attached to these physical things because they know that it's very hard to be tidy and maintain a lot of inventory or have a lot of clutter around. And so it's like they innately know that something has to give. I can't keep all this stuff and be a tidy person. It's not actually physically possible. We can't keep everything and keep stuff for someday and just in case and be a tidy person. And so what I feel like people that are naturally tidy and this comes very easily to them is that they just know I can't keep everything and I can't keep all of this stuff for someday, but I'm choosing. And we talked about this a few videos back that they're choosing that I would rather have a tidy home because it feels good, it's peaceful. I'm not embarrassed when people stop by, but I also don't feel bad for myself about being a mom or a parent that can't stay on top of my house and therefore my kids are always living in a messy house, right? They recognize that in order for me to be tidy and to enjoy the benefits of being a tidy person and having a tidy house, a lot of the inventory has to go. And what I think is so beautiful about these people, we sometimes put them down. Those of us who are not tidy, we sometimes look down on these people who are like, you're too type A, you're too uptight, you care more about a clean house than about people or, the, or other stuff or sentimental stuff. And I don't think that's actually true. I think they've just made the decision that a tidy home to them feels good, it feels peaceful, and those benefits for them, this decision they've made, are better than keeping the extra inventory for just in case. And I think, I mean, really, if we, if you think about this and we, and if we think about the extra inventory that we keep, that we don't necessarily need, all of it is for just in case. Well, I might use those cookie cutters next Christmas. I might sometime actually decide to use the juicer and get healthy. I need to keep these extra clothes in case I lose some weight. And I feel like the people that are naturally tidy say no, because it's gonna to be too hard to manage all that inventory. I don't think they're actually consciously thinking this. I think it's like hardwired in. Like if my closet's full, it's very hard to keep it tidy. Or if my dresser drawers are full, then I know that's when I pile stuff on top of the dresser. So yeah, it could be nice to keep some of this extra clothing, clothing for just in case, or if I lose weight, or if they come back into style or whatever, but that's gonna to be too hard to also stay tidy. So I'm gonna let that inventory go. I could make a mistake. I might regret it down the road, but I would let rather make that mistake and live in a tidy house than continue to maintain and manage this inventory. And so I really, I really believe as I've thought about this more and I'm like, what, like what really is at the core of being a tidy person? I really think it's an ability to let extra inventory go so that you don't have to manage it. And so that when you go to put stuff away, you know, if you're only gonna handle something once and you're gonna put it away or you're gonna clean as you go, that your drawers and your cabinets and your closets are not over full so that it is very easy to put this stuff away. And therefore actually, actually fairly simple to stay tidy. And I think that's why, you know, I, I will be honest, I've, I've gotten offended by some of the comments of people that are naturally tidy. The people that are like, well, just run the dishwasher each night. Like, what are we talking about? Just fold the laundry every night when you're watching TV. Just only handle stuff once. And I'm like, well, yeah, that's so easy for you to say because you're naturally wired that way. And to the point where it sometimes offends me because I'm like, I don't, you don't understand. And, and I think it's just because they don't understand why would you keep this extra stuff if it's making it really hard to manage your house? And then we think, but why would you let perfectly good stuff go when you might need it someday, right? <laughs> and so I truly believe if you're not a tidy person, if you're like me, and you've ever been offended by a tidy person, I think they're being very sincere and that they just don't understand. And we, we both just look at stuff differently. But if we do want to be, if we want to move over from messy to be a more tidy person, I think we have to humble ourselves <laughs> and adopt some of their mindsets and say, okay, yes, maybe I need to let some of this extra inventory go so that it is very easy to clean up my kitchen as I go so that it's not a big deal to run the dishwasher at the end of the night because everything fits in there. That I am gonna like highly simplify my closet so that I, I'm not tempted to pile clothes on top of the dresser or on the floor or when I bring a laundry basket full of clean laundry and it's actually very simple to put it away. And so I'm realizing that if I really want to be a tidy person, I need to look at 
set the inventory and the stuff in my house much more differently. And so I think recognizing that neither side is wrong. There's actually benefits to both. And we get to choose, depending on what season we're in right now, how much inventory do we wanna manage and therefore how easy will it be to keep my house tidy. And so kind of circling back to some of these habits that normally define tidy people, like only handling stuff once, cleaning as you go, a place for everything and everything in its place, I really feel like all of these habits are much more easier to develop once we have decluttered our home, highly simplified our inventory, and then these things are possible. So if you've tried to develop those habits outside of decluttering first, you may have felt like a failure, like there's something wrong with you, you're just too messy of a person, it's never gonna work. And so what I wanna encourage you is keep working on decreasing the inventory and decluttering until you get to a point that these habits stick and you really can tidy your house very quickly. For me, I know often the question comes up of like, how far should I go when I'm decluttering? How far, like how much should I get rid of? And for me, I want any room in our house I wanna be able to pick it up in five minutes. The kitchen might take a little bit longer, but any other room, five minutes. And so I kept reducing the inventory until no matter what stage, no matter how old our kids were, uh, how big a messes they make, five minutes, that any room in our home could be pulled back together in five minutes. And so I actually had to go a lot further with reducing the inventory than I would have thought. I mean, I would encourage you, if you're getting kind of hung up on things, go further than you thought because I had to really significantly reduce the inventory to get our house easy to tidy. And so I don't say that to like discourage you or scare you, but I'm just saying like, if you're feeling like, eh, I'm not sure, err on the side of getting rid of it because like the tidy people already know, the benefits of living in a home that is really easy to tidy and pick up is, it it's really priceless. It, it feels so good and it makes you feel good. I feel so much more successful when I'm able to, st to stay on top of our house. And then even if I accidentally got rid of something we needed or I could have used it, but it's fine, I'll make something else do, I didn't beat myself up over that because I'm like, oh no, no, the benefits are are so good that I don't care if I accidentally got rid of a, a $20 shirt or a pair of jeans that I could have worn now. It doesn't, it's fine. It's, it's, it's totally fine because the benefits are so good and it's so easy to keep our house tidy. So those benefits and that worth so much more than anything I might've accidentally decluttered. And so you start to have this grace for yourself. I know some of you are like really perfectionistic and you're like, but I can't make this mistake and just keep going because you start to have more grace for yourself. I think that's a real benefit of tidy people is they don't beat themselves up if they make a decluttering mistake because they know like, well, I can't keep it all. I can't have a tidy house and keep it all. They're not so hard on themselves. So with that being said, our workbook is available along with a course that goes alongside of it. I couldn't not do a course because like the workbook is cool, but I learn best this way. So it's kind of like we have both. If you learn well with a workbook and writing stuff down and checking stuff off as you go, super cool. If you like to like see it and see actual real homes get decluttered, then the course might be for you as well. So I'll put details for those. We just want to help you however we can, because like I said, it's just so stinking good. So I would love to know, will you comment down below? Are you a naturally tidy person or not <laughs> like me over here? And if you are one of these naturally tidy people, what is your favorite habit to keep your house tidy? So thank you for sharing that down below. It's always so fun to read, but I love you. I hope that you have a really good day and I'll see you again soon.